77-year-old neighbor who's gone back to working in the grocery store. People who live at a local mobile home park are fed up and frustrated with rising rent and safety issues. Many are on fixed incomes and struggling to make ends meet. And tonight, they're turning to state leaders and Channel 3 for help. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski is in Killingworth with their concerns. Residents here in the Beachwood community are struggling. It's a 55 and over community, and residents are anywhere from retired to dealing with some health conditions. Now, they say the new owner is causing some major headaches. We feel like we're being abused. Sun Communities, a large real estate investment trust company, bought Beachwood from the previous owner, the Jensen family, back in 2019. Since then, residents say they're dealing with everything from sewage backups to bee infestations. And now, rent has increased. And so we're talking about people that can't afford to carry these increases in rent, which appear to be going up uh, dramatically, while at the same time, uh, the services and the quality of services are going the other direction. Residents say rent has gone up 7.2% this past year alone, which is about a $35 increase. Some people are making the choice at this point between paying the rent and having food in the refrigerator. Reevaluate what they're doing here, what they're doing to us, because mm -hmm. we can't afford it. We're having a hard time. Stephanie has been retired for 12 years. She is 73 years old, and now... She's back at work. We lost so many services, I had to go back to work. If I wanted to eat, I had to go back to work. Services like mowing the lawn and plowing the driveways are not included in rent. I think that's the hardest because we're even expected to, to trim our own bushes and do all the raking. I can't do it. So that's extra I have to pay for too. The lack of communication, residents say, is a major issue. At times it feels like we're talking, I'm talking to a wall. And when residents brought this issue to Brandon George, the vice president at Sun, his response was that the company has to make money. Attorney General William Tong says his office hasn't heard anything back from Sun, so they are planning on sending them a letter laying out the obligations they have by law to keep this community safe and clean. We have also reached out to Sun and are waiting to hear back. Reporting in Killingworth, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.